Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm your lovely awesome host, Tokusatsu, but you, you can also call me Aaron. And uh, well, today we are here to review, well, another figure in the Gotchar line. I reviewed the bike, I reviewed Voldemort, I reviewed Legend, I reviewed Gotchar himself. And now uh, the next figure in the Gotchar line that just, that just got released last month is uh, Majade, Sun Unicorn. Uh, this is the SA figure, Kamei Majade, Sun Unicorn. And uh, I gotta say, I love this figure. It's by far my favorite figure of the line, but there are some gripes with this figure. Not a lot, but there are some gripes with this figure that I feel like I need to call, I need to call out Tomasi for that, uh, that I'm going to say in the review. And, uh, yeah, uh, well, it's not gonna be not gonna be harsh, but I do guys say that nicely. So, to begin, scope rise. This is uh sorry, scope rise. This is amazing. This looks just like the suit from the actual show, and I, I love it. I love the detail. I love I love how they got the alchemist. They painted the alchemist driver the exact same from the just like from the freaking actual DX toy, and from the driver itself. I love all this, and uh, she has her Kemi riser right here. <laughs> so, what's so so what's so so what's the issue with the figure? The big outfit in the room is the plastic cape. Every time you I pose her, the shoulder piece uh, pops off, and uh, that's very annoying. It's not bad as. Other figures that did in the past, as you know, saying my cross figure did this, and that that got my nerves. But uh, Majay, her shoulder pass, this piece, this piece always comes off every time I see like that. Yeah, be careful, Dad. If you want to, okay, put a piece back there. Yes, you can, just right there. But yeah, that always happens every time I pose her. So, so be careful. With be careful with how you pose her, but uh, with these with, with these things on, by the way. Like besides that, everything else about the figure is pretty good. If you look at me, how's your copy? Pretty good, not wobbly, none of it. It's a little shaky, but uh, I got a, I got a good copy. And no, I did not pre-order this figure. I bought mine from Indian Games. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. But we are sponsored by Hybrid in Japan, and you can use, you can use my free link in the description if you want to go out uh, buy any Toku toy. They just put Valance Figure Art on there, so not Valance Figure Art, sorry, his action figure, his uh, his action figure on HLJ. So yeah, thank you, Hybrid in Japan, for sponsoring this video. But anyway, anyway, uh, besides. Anyway, uh, you can pose her pretty well. I did, and you'll see in the pictures. Because, oh my goodness. Dude, I swear, uh, each release, of, each gotcha release is getting better, better, and learning from the feedback and criticism from the past releases. Because, no offense, but, uh, this figure's really good. Bruh, see that? That's awesome. That's really awesome right there. I feel like... I feel like that uh, Tamashi is, is learning the criticism and feedback from the past releases of the Gacha figure. Because... Because I have... I know that... I, nah, sorry, I know that Japanese fans are mixed on those figures. But, uh... For me, I love them all. Granted, I might have a bias towards a few of them, but, uh... I think the best, I think, I think, uh, I think my least favorite one probably gotta be Gotchar because the Chrome is not bad, but, uh, it is pretty easy to, uh, it is pretty easy to ruin. But, uh, but, uh, but, uh, this figure, no, dude, this figure is pretty good. For those who want to know, yes, you can pose her, she, she could do an awesome kick, you just gotta be very careful. But, it, uh, but besides that, 
she she really gave her articulation though. This is how far her arms go, by the way. Just you just gotta be careful because of the shoulder pads cannot pop off. This is how far her arms go. You know, if you take these off, her arms can go. Her arms can her arms can show more articulation. I'm trying to say. This is how far. Well, this is how far she goes from here because of the alchemist driver is in the way. It's on. Uh, it's part of the figure. Duh. This is how far she goes from here to here to here. And all that. <clears throat> I love this figure. I love. I love this suit too. You know, Rene. Rene take Rene is like the first female secondary we got in Kamen Rider. I love this character. But yeah, it does irk me how I did not like how the community treated this character at times like complete garbage, and uh, I can never forgive. I can never forgive them for doing that. But uh, yeah, this feet. Yeah, uh, besides that, Majay here. Majay here is really great. I took like so many pictures of of her because. Oh, she's so good. And I cannot wait for Conway Voldorad this month. And uh, that's going to be a fun figure to take pictures of. Oh, man. <clears throat> so, let's go on. So, 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 sorry. so, I'm so excited. I'm stuttering. <laughs> so, let's go on into size comparison. Because, well, we do got... Not size comparison. We do got to go look at her freaking accessory. Then size comparison. So let me go uh, move uh, Rene over here. So, here at the box. What's in the box? Well, her accessories. Go. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna put her right there for now. And my dog just uh, left my room. That's wonderful. Nice. I love that dog. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. So, what does she come with? Well, she comes with a she comes with an accessory piece for God Charge. And and a box is falling down. Wait. Well, she comes with an accessory piece. Just like Gotchard did for uh, just like sorry, not Gotchard, just like Voderad did for Gotchard. What piece I'm talking about? Here's a hand. You're supposed to give Gotchard to hold the chemi riser that she comes with. It's actually it's actually painted very detailly, very detailed as well. In order, in order to, in order to uh, get this accessory piece, you gotta go buy Majay's figure art for that. And when I first saw that, I was like, "Wait a minute, hold on, what? Hold on, why does she come with this for Gotchard?" But at the same time, Voldemort came with a uh, came with Gotchard's weapon, so fair enough, I guess. So uh, here are her, uh, here are her henshin hand pose. She do when she transform into Sun Unicorn, Majay. Now I got the freaking jingle on my head. <laughs> Great. Here we have her uh, freaking uh, fight hands. Well, I also like to call them jazz hands. <laughs> here are the here are the here are the fists that she come with. But granted, these are on every figure when you get them. But I will. I do want to push it out. So you know how the Senkoku Seho wizard figure you gotta you gotta go freaking replace the ring on every finger i'm grateful that they didn't do that here because all her hands are painted with with the freaking with, with the freaking uh, alchemist ring on there which is so grateful which is so how to say blessing and amazing thank you tamashi arigato zamasu tamashi tamashi nations i'm grateful for that because that wizard figure is fun, but also he's very annoying because I had to replace his freaking ring every time I uh, pose them in my pictures. And here we have her iconic, uh, her iconic, uh, well, 
Here we have her iconic open hands for her pose when she does the uh, freaking uh, when she does her freaking uh, henshin in her civilian form. But yeah, that's about that. She, she doesn't come. She doesn't come with like any weapon or that. I did. I do wish, but I get. But I know that uh, they're going to do this for one of the figures for Gotchard. So you know how the show she used the Excalibur saber. I guarantee you, she's going. I guarantee you, the Tamashi's going to add that figure. Well, that sword with you with the figure art version of UFO X Rex Zoo. X Rex, and if that's the case, then okay, fair enough. Because I'm probably gonna get that figure to her, even though Hotoro used that sword way more than her. But still, I just think I just think Rina looks way more cooler with the sword, in my opinion. But still, I guarantee you, they're going to. Make that make that sword for Gachar and Majay, which is which is hooray, you know. Okay, fair enough, I guess. But uh, now, but now on to size comparison. And well, we got a lot to compare. We're gonna compare her to all the Gachar releases, not the bike. We're gonna compare her to uh, all the female riders in Reiwa and a few anime figures that uh, that that also came in as well. So, here we have the first uh, P Bandai Gacha release. My my boy Voderad. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, once Comrade Voderad comes in, I'm uh, I'm turning this version of Voderad to Lackless and Lackless Voderad because well. Well, that's my girl and all, and uh, I just I just wanted to pose the figure just like her because I'm gonna have her boyfriend in her comrade form really soon. And hit the first gotcha release. Well, yeah, it's retail. Uh, Mr. Steam Hopper, Hopper himself. <laughs> oh, this line is so cool. It's this this line is so cool, but also. It's, also incomplete because Comrade Vorderad is uh not here yet. But that's okay. So let's bring in the extra writer of the show, Mr. Kaguya Sama himself. Or I don't know, Mr. Drop Dead Gorgeous. Yeah, that's what I'm calling him. Oh buddy. Oh buddy, that oh boy, that's so cool. Oh, but that's so cool. That's so cool right there. That's just so fucking awesome. Ah, oh, man, that's... Ah, oh, man, that's so cool. I cannot wait till Comrade Vorderak comes up, because I'm going to recreate this in his review when Vorderak, Comrade Vorderak comes out. Wait, I just said that. I can... Let me try again. I cannot wait... For Comrade Vodrad to be released this month because once his once his figure arrives, I'm going to recreate this his whole this whole uh image by uh putting him right here. Oh duh, he's the center of the text of the video he's the center of the text he's the center of the attention of the freaking video and put my J right there, but still this this is so cool. I got dread on pre order as well, not daybreak, but I'm gonna wait. I'm probably gonna pick up I'm probably gonna order daybreak next year when he's available, so I'm just gonna wait for him. But yeah, this is uh this this is very really awesome. Alright, so let's move uh let's move let's move them out of the way. Now I got the freaking song in my head. I'm not gonna sing it because copyright. All right, so let's compare her to other female Reiwa riders. Here's everyone's fan. Here's everyone's favorite female Reiwa rider, Jine, uh, Jane, Jine, whatever you want to call her. Here she is with well, with well, my favorite female rider in Reiwa. Aguilera. Here she is as well. 
Kulaha Tabala. Oh, let me uh, fix this. Hold on. Oh, great. Ay, ay, ay. And my dog barking. That's wonderful. And my dog. Oh, great. That's just wonderful. Hold on for a second. So let's compare her to the other one. So let me move, let me move them out of the way. Here she is with Val Valkyrie, the first Rewa female rider. Literally, here she is with Val Val Nago. Hand that off, bro. Yeah, that's it. Those like, those are literally the only female rare, female riders I have in my collection. No joke. I don't have them. I don't have a. Uh, what the frick was a? Uh, I forgot. Uh, Forze's girlfriend, who was the tertiary in the move from the movie. I forgot what her name was. But I don't. I don't have her figure either. So these are, like the only female figures female comrade figures that I have. So please forgive me. And for the last two and for the last two comparisons, here we have the two other figures that, that came in as well last month. Blue Vegeta. And here uh, he's the next figure I'm gonna review. And uh the main man himself, the GOAT, one of my favorite one of my all time favorite anime protagonists. You scared you're a meshy boy I love you, Haku Show. And now, uh, oh my goodness, he's standing pretty well with both of them. Even though Vegeta look like Vegeta look like he, even though Vegeta look like he's about to go squat with someone, about to fight someone in the face, but about to, well, it looked like he's about to punch someone in the face. Probably Goku because Sparkling Zero is coming out in six days from now. But anyway, anyway, yeah, that's that's all. That's all for. The comparison, like, out, I guess. And, uh, what do the guys say about this figure? I love it. I love it. Uh, well, if you don't, if you don't like Gotchar, that's fine. It's not for everyone. I love it. My favorite way to watch series. But at the same time, if you love the suit, if you love the soundtrack, if you love the kid, if you love everything about Gacha in general, I'll say I recommend you to go buy this figure. Because, oh my goodness, I love this figure so much. Right now, see my right now, see my favorite Gacha figure. So how I rank them all is basically this. Number one is Majay. Number two is Legend. Three is Voldorad. And, uh... Force got shard. But uh that list is gonna change once once Comrade Voldemort comes out this month. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow all my social media description, mainly the main four, including my Instagram. I'm posting a lot nonstop on there lately, so go check it out. And I just wanna say check out my H check out my Hobby Link Japan affiliate link in the description. Go ahead and buy yourself any anime or transformer or tokusatsu toy you want to and uh yeah that's all i want to say and uh thank you all for watching please like come subscribe follow all my social media description like i said and uh keep posts keep posts 
keep the notification button on for my next video. And my next video is going to be on the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta that just came out last month in Japan. And, uh, yeah, that's all I want to say. Till next time, guys. The next comic review is going to be Comrade Voldered when, uh, when, uh, P. Bandai, uh, release him this month. And, yeah. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.